I want to know how you balance the thought of being in love with two people at the same time. I'm not understanding that because what I see is emotional energy being put into it. Uh, it's so much chaos in just dealing with one person, their baggage, their, uh, their tentative height of care that might need, they might need, you know what I'm saying? It's so much that you put into one person that I can't foresee myself loading up her baggage quote unquote baggage we know baggage can be uh it it can be viewed as something negative but it's not always negative mm -hmm. but just her maintenance alone for me even if it's just mental health that's enough for me that's why i said it really feels counter kind of outweighed it for me to add somebody else to the picture when I'm like, yo, if I'm giving this woman everything, I ain't got nothing else for another one. Mm -hmm. Also, what I feel like is I'm opening up the door for another man if I got another girl. I can't be mad at her when she goes and finds what she's lacking. Because I'm, I promise you this, and this is from experience. For every dude that was juggling a woman, I got your, I got your bro. The dough was mm -hmm. left cracked. It's something you didn't fulfill, whether it was listening, physical touch, whatever her love language was, you weren't fulfilling it because you went over there to attend to number two that you call yourself being in love with. That left the door open for me many a times in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And they was very open I mean, about, I love him, but I'm through with him. Right, mm -hmm. but she didn't love mm -hmm. me, she just needed something fulfilled, a void. So that's why I'm saying it's I can fully it's engage true. you. So go ahead. go ahead. How many and this is me being listen, I have I have grown up with some of the most beautiful people in my life that has been married for 50 and 60 years. Like I have um an uncle and an aunt that were married over 50 years. When one passed away, the other passed away right after. Like, but me growing up, me looking at them as like this whole fairy tale of love, I found out later on, after my uncle had passed and I'm spending time with my aunt, that they went through certain trials and tribulations that I would have never thought. And I found this out at like 40 years old. And it hurt my heart because this being my dream couple, you know what I mean? To find out that they actually had certain things that they actually went through. That was like telling me at 40 years old that Santa Claus didn't exist, right? So me learning that you have to relationship, commitment, and love. That's three different categories, okay? You can love as many people as you want to love until you decide to become in a relationship with one person. It's not going to take away the love that you have of others. But then once you decide to be committed to that one person, because you can have three relationships. Once you commit to that one person and you cut everybody off, the relationship that you had with others don't go away because it existed. And the love that you have for others don't go away because it existed. I have people that I could, I could say people that I, I felt like I'm their first true love that are happily married. And I love them still. They love me still. And their wife loved me because if you get drunk and you get in my inbox, I'm going to tear your ass up and I'm going to let you know what's right and what's wrong. I genuinely loved you and I know how fucked up you were when you were younger. And if you get into it with your wife and your wife hits me up and then you hit me up, I'm the best person to come to because I'm going to give you my real on how you're fucking up now based upon how you fucked up with me. So mm. there's certain types of love that you need to have to evolve. Rod, I see you itching to talk. I'm going to get to the comments right after uh, Mr. Rod uh, responds. Now, um, I'm going to piggyback off what, 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 Shay, what Shay said. You know, her, um, her aunt or her grandparents were together for 50 years and you know you find out you know your uncle had a girlfriend down the street 
or your aunt had a boyfriend down the street, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Not 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 digging in that. You but know that what I mean? I think that's what happened. But yeah, yeah. But then most of the time, that's what happened. You know, hey, my grandfather, yeah. my grandfather had he got 26, 26 kids. Woo. So he, you know, he only married one woman and he wanted to marry my grandmother, but he mm. married another woman because my grandfather, my great grandfather wouldn't allow my grandmother to marry him. But what I'm saying is your aunt really loved him. She stood by her side because that was love. You know what I mean? Um, and it was a commitment. Mm -hmm. See, so the thing is, we put up with a lot of, even when you love somebody, you're going to put up with something. And I'm not saying you put up with cheating, whatever the case is, you know what I mean? But you are going to put up with something because that's what love does to us. You know, I'm like, it ain't nobody on this stream who can tell me that they've loved somebody and they put up and they didn't put up with something foolish that the next person wouldn't put up with. You know what I mean? I'm out one second. So we're not talking about having love for somebody. I'm talking about actively, absolute love. I'm talking about giving 100% of yourself to two people at the same time. I don't believe that's possible. I so, believe that every time, like if all three of us were in a relationship right now, me uh -huh. and you are giving Shay over an uh, overload of love because it's double the pleasure, double the fun, right? But I guarantee you, me and you, Rod, are missing something because she's only one, one woman. Somebody's going to find us. And she satisfy us, even if Rod is not asking for much, and I am, right? I guarantee you, there will come a time where Rod says, I'm not getting my little bit because she's literally only one woman. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe the absolute love that you can share with a person. Now, one would argue, like Mr. Courtney, the Courtney said in the uh, comments, if you're thinking in a monogamous mindset, I won't be able to see the other types of relationships such as poly, polyaramis, things of that nature. But you know what I see? in those relationships consistently and not just through the uh, internet. I know some of these people, but they go through more turmoil than we do monogamously simply because somebody cheating. Somebody ain't told somebody something. It's just three people with it's three times the problem instead of one. You know what I'm saying? It's more, it's, it's, when, when it get into that, it's more, it's more of a headache with, with that because you, you have everything on, on front street. And you open the door for more jealousy in those type of situations because it's up front. You see what I'm saying? So when you open that door and 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 you bring, I bring in Shay and I bring in um, Susie. Yeah. And they both know you. You open the door for more turmoil. You open you, the you, door you, for more people, period, yeah. with more baggage, with people more issues that situations. maybe everybody's I, not. A, hold on. We can't talk at the same time. Go ahead, Shay. I've seen some beautiful poly situations. I, and I bet you have. Beautiful. But those people became what they are because they were complete as people coming into it. Right? Mm. Now, I'm sorry. I said confident, confident right. within themselves. Yeah, exactly. They came in. They knew exactly. They put everything on the table. They built from that. They money stupid kids together. Beautiful lives. People nowadays go into certain situations because they're lacking something within themselves, and they go to get it from a new person. You could be in a relationship. And you could be the breadwinner and you could have the beautiful homes and the beautiful cars, but your might your wife might not acknowledge you in public, or she might talk down to you, or when you're trying to express certain feelings to her, she more of a nigga than you are. So I'm, then you I'm find a petite lady who's go sit there and laugh at your corny ass jokes and make you feel whole as a man. You let know me, what I mean? Let me, let me tell you company. what I think about polygamous relationships or polyamorous relationships. Um, th there's one good thing I heard that goes on in those relationships, which is group economics. But how good are all three of y'all? Mm -hmm. Who knows the most and who knows other avenues? Who You see what I'm saying? 
if I'm in a a, a, a relationship with two women, because I'll never be in a relationship with one woman and two men. Um, <clears throat> who knows what is important? And the second thing that's a fucking lie is that everybody put everything on the table. It takes that's you not- a lifetime cool. to get to know one person. You think I think both of them is telling me everything? Hell no. It'll never happen. Shay, you have you never told one person. You can't name say one person. Based me, upon your experiences. No, I'm going to ask you. I'm asking you. Is there one person on this earth that you've told everything? Absolutely. Think about what you just said, Shay. Absolutely. Shay, there is no Let me tell you something. Possible. When you have a certain, like, I'm secured. You hear me? If I did it, it's notarized. If I said it, it's notarized. Cap. Lies. I have no. Why? My whole thing is if you this fuck with me. It sounds like you're saying I ooh, don't lie. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. E- everything. Are you saying you don't lie? Everything. But are you. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but hold on. Let's, let's, let's say this. Let's say this. I'm, I'm going I'm to play the middle here, okay? So. Is it a lie if she just doesn't tell? You get what I'm saying? So if she oh, if she re, if she yeah. refrains if she oh, refrains from, but hold on hold on hold on Jay if she refrains from saying whatever the case may be that's not a lie. She just saying she ain't she ain't open up all the way to everybody. Uh, she just told me. She's I, one person on this earth. Everything I said I, that was cap. No, I have. I, I didn't, didn't call it cap that she can make a polygamous <laughs> relationship work. I never said that because if you're that type of person built for that type of relationship, salute. Remember, I said I'm. <laughs> I'm not here to bash what type of relationships people enjoy. That's not why I'm here. What I'm here to do is see your perspective and also give you mine. So I would never sit here and say that's trash. Don't do that. that that's bullshit. Because I don't yeah, when you live that life. Your question, and I you answer. And I, it's people when that sell dope. Question, it's people that sell dope question, right now. Don't bash them. When you ask me the question, and I, I answered thought, it absolutely honestly, I told you yeah. that was cap. Bullshit. My thing. First off, who go check me? Whatever the fuck I've done, I've done it. No, no, no. I get that part. But, so what do you things, as far as cap? What's cap though? What's cap is you ain't told one person everything. I, they I'm, ain't even been around to know. Let me tell you something. My mama has known me literally all my life. Mm-hmm. Never been a day she couldn't reach me, except for when I was deployed. And even then, even then, she knows mm-hmm. a lot. But I'm telling you, it was shit that I've done in this world I would never tell my mama. Okay, so that's it certain things. That's you. There's certain things I'm I want to tell my But there is based. one person. There's one person that knows every fucking thing about me. And the that's, not, that's not hard. Everything. That's baby. That's not hard to believe. Cap, man, no way. That's so. Right now, you. So are you I'm asking not, me every time? How many times I've, I've pissed in my life? Uh, no, obviously not. But when you ask me the question, does a person know everything about me as far as past relationships, past hurts, here's past events? Like, here's how, how many here. women I've been with? Everything, yes, on the table, straight up. Who go check me? Okay, okay. so we're gonna roll with that. Now, yeah. there was a question in the comments. Actually, I'm gonna roll back up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. Y'all with me? Stay with me. Yes, we are, man. So I'm gonna roll back up. So things were said, Miss Miss uh, Leticia, who is Miss Coffee. She says you cannot properly love two people romantically in the capacity that they should be loved at the same time. Impossible. Then we have a comment that says having a love for someone was not the question, though. Can you actively love this person and that person equally and completely at the same time? Uh, I think we went through that. So, um, Shochi says, so in a polygamous situation, you feel like someone isn't getting the love they need? I answered and said, I think everybody's lacking something. 
I can find the crack door with that woman. I've done it a million times. Every time they said my woman won't go, as soon as that nigga cheated, I showed him how much she can cheat too. In polygamous relationships and monogamous relationships alike. That's why I don't believe in it. That's why so, I don't believe in it. Because I done cracked the door on all of them. My thing is, when you are at a certain level of comfort with somebody, mm -hmm. anything is possible, right? The way in which you're capping me shows, like, you have never been in a situation with somebody to where you feel so fucking comfortable with a person. Like, now this is where the love comes in. Because there's a certain type of unconditional love, right? There's certain females that are not comfortable. Okay, all this poly shit that's on TV now is typically one fine ass dude with no job and three and four fat ass insecure females that's gonna do whatever the fuck they gotta do to stay on that dick. Now, Straight I up. See some bad ones. <laughs> okay. I see some bad so you didn't. Ones. You didn't have some baddies. A dude yeah. with two ass baddies and he buying them Maserati. I want to be Floyd Mayweather's tenth girlfriend. I like Birkin bags and shit. But are you but there for him? People coming into a situation. But are you there for him? Huh? Are you gonna be there for him? It I heard the money part. My dad will. Everybody wants some of that billion. It's some dudes that want the billions. Uh, some of that billion from money. True. I'm asking you: Are you there for him? Being his tenth girlfriend, what are you getting if the money goes away? Me laughing about this Floyd thing, Floyd. That's a whole different situation because when you get to that point in life, you just got 10 girlfriends and say you got 10 girlfriends. These hoes is checking out Birkin bags out of a closet like library cards. Now, so it's not, come, he's not there. The for they understand what they're there for, but they there are beautiful poly situations that work because sometimes in life, I feel like if a person is so narrow minded to where I'm with this person and he's never going to engage with another female. He's never going to go seek off certain things. It's a certain level of comfort when you're in an unconditional relationship to where if, you, if that's what you feel like you need to do, go ahead and do it. When the bitch break your heart, we go sit back. We go talk about it. We go move on. That sounds like brothers and sisters and best friends to me. And you need that sense in a real relationship. Shit, me. I don't want my wife to come tell me about no pipe she took from another nigga. <laughs> so, look, so I'm a, I'm, the point we were trying to make earlier, I was trying to tell her she was cap about something, a certain thing. But then you asked the question, why do we have to tell someone everything? I never said you have to tell someone everything. Miss Shay said she knows she has a person that, that she knows tells everything, you. right? Yeah. Yeah, and so everybody you were knows saying, everything. The person knows absolutely everything. Miss Shay, you also gave the stipulation that the relationship of what polyamory or polygamy, whichever one, one of those relationships only work if y'all all come to the table and tell each other everything, right? No, what I said was it That's takes. What you said. Listen to me. It takes three people that come into a situation as a whole. You have to be completed as a person. It's dignified, can stand on your own, and your strengths are your strengths. Whoa. I'm a listen, I'm that. not I'm not the next bitch, right? If I'm with someone, okay, go ahead. No, finish. I don't want to I'm off. with someone, right? Unconditionally. And we are going through a stage in our life. Women go through certain situations like we have hormone problems and all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? But if you are my true best friend, and that's why it's important, my true best friend, the person that I want to be old with, there are stages in life that's going to happen that we can't control. Back in the day, divorce was not as rapid as it is now. When you, you marry that, this person at you saying that like men old, don't go through the same shit. We go through same. changes in life. We just How many times have you different. been in love? How many times have you been in love? In love? Yeah. Two times? Twice. Ever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, each time you've been in love, 
did you feel like that person was going to be your, your love for life forever? One time I felt like that. So you were just, you was half-assing the first time you was in love? No, that was the one time I thought was forever. Okay. The second did, time, did, was, did, the the second second time was, second time was 10 years later and it was solid, but like you said, we go through changes. I had a definite family that still affects me today. Mm -hmm. And I pushed her away. I understood why she strayed. Mm -hmm. But that didn't change the love for me. But you know what I never did? I never went and found that comfort in somebody else. But she did. Okay. But did you love her the same as you loved the first one? Did I love her the same way? I couldn't. She was a different person. Was the feelings as deep and did I give the same effort? Yes. So that's so to me, that's the whole point. Of but I was you can love done loving the first situation in order to I can't look at another woman when I'm in love. When I'm there, I'm there is what I'm saying. So if somebody can split their attention like that, I commend you. I don't know how to do that. That's why I'm not bashing how you're saying, OK, we can move from this situation to the next one. But I'm I'm just trying to understand because I, I only know how I felt and what the type of energy I put into it, right? And I'm telling you, I couldn't fathom giving two women the amount of attention that I give. It's so and genuine. It's, it's so intimate. I would feel like I'm lying to you on Monday night if I'm telling another woman the same thing on Tuesday night. So that's but you. you. Know, you're, you're, that's, now, now you've put yourself not in the love category, you're committed. Those are the thoughts and the I'm feelings. I'm trying to see committed. why you think commitment is tied to love. You can commit to something. That doesn't mean you... you so, do you I'm commit to somebody... I'm saying. I'm saying in the sense that I'm saying. Yeah. I so know that I can commit to my job at work and not love my job. I know that. But can you can do you commit to somebody in a relationship before you love them? Uh I have to actually. Or I ain't gonna stay there long enough to love them. So but it's so hand in hand. You, I'm you telling you it's hand in hand for me. Say what? <laughs> I'm telling you it's hand in hand for me. If I don't even think I'm gonna commit to you, the love ain't coming. That's what I'm telling you. But you commit before you love. No, no, no. What I'm saying is I'm committed to love. That's what I'm but saying. But you're, 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 you're intent, driven to... Intent versus action. But so, what I'm saying is, so you're, let's look at it like this. You have a vision board. You can, you, can vision, you can physically see yourself falling in love with Shay. So you commit to Shay. No, 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 no. I never physically thought I could fall in love with neither one of the two women I was. Actually, time happened. We spent time. And then they said, are we together or are we not? Actually, I can't give too much on that one because that's the first episode of my TV show coming out. And I don't want to spoil shit. But honestly, it was something I didn't even know I wanted. She had to show me I wanted it. I was doing the things already. And she had to point out. Why are you doing all this if you don't love me? It was one of those. You see what I'm saying? That was my first time. And you got to think, 19, Rod, what could we tell each other about love at 19? Yeah, see, I won, I won, I won, I won. You, you see what I'm saying, though? I was doing what you was doing, to be honest, just on a different side of town. Literally yeah. doing what you was doing. Me and Banks had those conversations. He knew me, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was doing what you were doing, so if you remember back then what we was doing, Bro, what could we tell each other about being in love and committed? Right. So looking back on it, I got to say everything I grasped and held on to, I was committed to or I wasn't in it at all. I couldn't play like this was something. I was with, with you or it was hot or cold with me. It wasn't no look with yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah, so but, yeah. People had infatuation phases. You knew that? I didn't have that. I either wholeheartedly fucked with you, you or jump, you jump, you you jump two feet in. A hundred percent or zero, bro. Yeah. 
That's why it's hard for me to understand infatuation. Like you, know, um, you just so you being an all or nothing type person, I can see why your views are the way they are because you love with conditions. Mm 